Hey folks, welcome to the final battle in Purple Kazooie's Monocolor Tournament. Um, and for this final match, my opponent is JD Hickman. There should be links to her channel in the description and in the annotation. Um, anyway, uh, it's been a long time coming, but it's finally here. Um, and I can't believe I made it to the finals. Um, anyway, uh, chose Stargazer Coliseum because we're better to have um, a finals match. And uh, here we go. She leads off with Azelf, and I lead off with Tyranitar. Um, basically, Rosary just isn't cutting it as a lead, I don't think. So I'm anticipating a Taunts to prevent me from setting up Stealth Rock, um, but instead she decides to use Stealth Rock, um, but that's okay, I'll be able to KO um, her lead on the first turn, so it's not all lost. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, obviously she's got a Focus Sash, um, the Azelf has a Focus Sash, uh, but with the Sandstorm Bruin, uh, that Focus Sash is just going to prolong its depth for, you know, precisely one second. Um, so Azelf goes down, and I'm feeling pretty good. Um, you know, I don't think anyone on my team particularly minds Stealth Rock, so I'm thinking this is pretty good. Um, anyway, he sends out Floatzel, and I'm anticipating a Water-type move. Um, so, uh, I consider who to send in to take the Water-type move. We've got plenty of Grass-types. But um, I send out Onion, who's Grass Water, so that's a 4x resist. Um, so out goes Onion, um, and I'm not sure if she... W yeah, sorry, uh, so uh, there's some stun damage. And I'm not sure if she was predicting this or what, but uh, Floatzel uses Ice Punch, which hits super hard. I was not expecting it to hit that hard, um, but I didn't think it had done more than half. I don't know how I thought that, but uh, so I decided to attack, um, but Floatzel's able to take me out. Um, and without, you know, a scratch on it, um, it must be either, it must be banded, it must be choice banded, um, that's an extremely effective, um, uh, moveset. Uh, anyway, so next I send out Serenity, um, my, uh, choice, uh, specs, um, Yan Mega, thinking that I can outrun it, um, but I don't know why I thought I could outrun it, unless she'd been really stupid in how she'd EV'd it. Um, there's no way I could outrun it. It doesn't have speed boost, and I don't have protect on it anyway, so... Anyway, that's two Pokémon down, and I haven't even gotten in a single shot, so this is really embarrassing at this point. Um, yeah, the Sandstorm's raging, um, but I just considered who to send out. Uh, actually, it might not have been a bad move to leave in, um, Quants. I could have, you know, Dragon Dance, maybe, to get up my speed, um, or just taking it out, uh... Floatzel does not have good defenses, uh, and I just know I just need to get it in one shot. So, But instead I send out um, Celebi, who is going to take a su super effective hit, but Celebi is bulky as anything, and so I think it can survive. Um, so there comes an Ice Punch, and um, just as I predicted, it does survive. With a decent amount of HP, it might have even been able to take two. Um, I use Seed Bomb, which, uh, as I predicted, based on the fact that it's a super effective hit and that Floatzel's defenses are nothing, I'm able to take it out. But, you know, it, I lost two Pokemon, well, one Pokemon for no good reason, um, one Pokemon for, you know, just mispredicting. Um, yeah, the Sandstorm isn't necessarily Celebi friendly, and now without uh, Onion I have no way of getting rid of it, but, oh well, it is what it is. So he sends out, she sends out uh, Charizard, and I've got to switch because a uh, super effective fire type move is not going to be good for me. So I'm going to send in Quance, who's going to resist fire, um, and also it has the boost to its special defense from the Sandstorm. Um, yeah, uh, Quance here is going to be the star of a new OU team that I'm going to be introducing in about uh, 16 battles. Um, the team's done, but that's just how my upload schedule works. So anyway, I'm gonna it, it set up a substitute, and so I consider how should, I should break the substitute, and I decide I'm gonna go ahead and use Crunch. I considered putting up Stealth Rock, which would have been really, really handy in this battle. But anyway, there goes a Focus Sash, which I was not anticipating to take me out. Um, but Charizard does have pretty good special defense or special attack. Um, I invested nothing in uh, Quance's uh, special attack, so yeah, that sucked. Um, and, you know, its sub isn't even... Wait, did I take it out of sub? No, I think it outran me. Um, so anyway, I send out Kimiko, um, who's also going to resist uh, Fire-type move, and we'll also not care about uh, super effect... You know, we'll not care about um, anything else. I guess it could have a nice move, possibly, but I doubt it. Anyway, um, I go ahead and use Outrage, which is going to be my maximum damaging attack, um, and is going to be really my only hope of taking this guy out. 
Um, so that does take down his sub, which is nice. Um, and so the question is whether I can take him down. He uses Air Slash. Uh, I forget whether Air Slash causes flinching or uh, has a higher critical ratio. I guess it's a higher critical ratio. Um, but luckily nothing bad happened here. I get the crit, but I don't think the crit mattered. I could be wrong. Um, anyway, Charizard goes down, um, and now I'm locked into Outrage, so there's nothing I can do. Um, he send, she sends out Dragonite, which I'm not sure if she didn't realize that I was uh, scarfed or what, um, or whether she thought that she could survive. Dragonite is, after all, kind of a beast. Um, but I do take it out in one hit, um, which is guaranteed on certain Dragonite sets, if it was a mixed, knight, uh, mixed Dragonite, for instance. Um, but without knowing what set it is, you know, that might have been a really lucky blow for me. So now I'm confused and I can switch out, um, but this I really wish I didn't have to switch out here because Breloom is going to, um, you know, that's a sub-punch Breloom for sure because that's, that's a beastly set uh, sub-punch. So I really wish I had another option, but um, I gotta switch out. Um, so out goes Celebi again, and, uh, oh sorry, it's a spore puncher, not a sub-puncher. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm asleep and... Uh, the thing is, you know, I've got uh, freeze and sleep clauses in effect, but anytime I'm going to switch out Celebi, it's going to cure itself through thanks to um, natural cure, which you know ordinarily is really great because you don't want your I mean, Celebi's a cleric, so you don't want it to stay asleep. But um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so I call back Gore while um, she goes ahead and um, prepares a focus punch, but. You know, El Kabong, I think, resists the attack, so it should be fine. Um, the Stealth Rock breaks my Focus Sash, um, but, and here comes the Focus Punch, and even though there's no crit, um, no nothing, uh, Rosarade goes out in a single hit. Rosarade's defenses really aren't that good, and it wasn't well bred, um, but that's just embarrassing. I was really hoping I could, you know, do something here. Anyway, I go ahead and send. Uh, you know, I'm down to my last two Pokemon. My back's up against the wall, and this looks like I'm going to lose. Um, you know, J.D. Hickman, really amazing team and really great strategy, and you did a really great job here. Um, and I did, I made a lot of stupid mistakes with that Floatzel. I'm just embarrassed here. So I, I do the Calyx, trying to figure out what can take out this Breloom. The answer is nothing. Outrage would not one-hit KO it, and it's just going to spore me so I'd be dead. Um, so I go ahead and use U-Turn um, to get its health down. I, the calcs that I do basically say that I might, might, might be able to take it out if I can lower its health down to about 87%, but even then, um, it's not guaranteed. So anyway, she, uh, she goes ahead and spores me again, and um, this time I'm not going to switch out. I'm going to let myself be foddered. Um, because that's the only way I can get in a free um, switch in with um, uh, Kyoko, uh, sorry, Kamiko, um, my uh, Flygon, um, who luckily, you know, thanks to the Scarf, it is going to outspeed, Bra outspeed Braylon. Although I guess Braylon's speed isn't the best in the world. Whatever. The point is, uh, Kamiko's back out, um, and I just hope, hope that I can kill it. Although the odds I, that I calculated really said that it wasn't good. Um, so I go ahead and use Outrage, thinking, you know, this match is over. And at this point, I have no other input in the battle, no matter what happens, because I'm locked into Outrage. Um, and somehow, magically, Braylon was taken out. I just couldn't believe it. It was incredible. Uh, part of the reason, it turns out, is because the damage calcs that I did by a smog on uh, assumed um, level 100, and attacks don't hit as hard at level 100. So I was really lucky there, um, but that was, I mean, it was still lucky, you know, based on basing, not knowing her set, it was really lucky that I was able to deliver the KO, but um, it wasn't as lucky as I thought. Anyway, Raichu didn't stand a chance, um, unless it had done Sucker Punch and it had been super effective or something, but I somehow managed to win the match, and I have won Purple Kazooie's Monocolor Tournament. Uh, Congratulate, you know, JD Hickman, you were amazing. Thanks to everyone who participated. Thanks, Purple Kazooie. Over and out.